a superconductivity is a f physical phenomenon where that some materials show when they are cooled down to a temperature which is below their so-called critical temperature. Uh, they completely lose their electrical resistance. Um, the temperature we are talking about is in the range of minus 200 degrees Celsius, which is also the range of temperature where nitrogen becomes liquid. When a superconductor uh, is transporting some current, uh, it does not create any losses when the current is a DC current. And even in the case of an AC current, the losses are significantly lower compared to standard metals such as copper. The use of uh, superconducting cables enables the utilities to transmit the same amount of power at a rather low voltage level compared to conventional technology such as uh, standard cables or overhead lines. So all utilities that need to transmit large amount of electrical power in small rights of way will benefit from superconducting cable technology. The LiPa superconductor cable that has been developed and delivered by Nexons has recently been successfully energized on April 22nd. It's the first one of its kind that is operating at transmission voltage level of 138 kV. For this demonstration project, Nexens has developed and delivered the complete cable system including the cable core, the cryogenic envelope and the terminations. Nexens also was in charge of supervising the installation of the cable and did the installation of the terminations. To master these challenges, Nexons has carried out a fundamental research and development program. One of the major challenges was the high voltage design of the cable accessories, which were overcome using all the Nexwing's expertise available. Before the LiPa project started, Nexons did not have a lot of activities in the HTS cable business. LiPa finally seems to be very pleased with the development result that Nexons has achieved, which is shown by the fact that LiPa is interested in a follow-up project. Now that the technical feasibility of superconducting cables has been demonstrated, new projects both in the medium and high voltage range are coming up and these projects are much closer to commercial projects than uh, the ones before. The market for superconducting power cables will definitely start as a niche market. We strongly believe that even today a superconducting power cable in specific locations can be cost competitive compared to a conventional solution if you look to the overall picture, not only the cable price. We need to use these possibilities to develop first commercial projects that will help to reduce manufacturing costs and further develop the market.